You ready to do the news? I am ready to do the news. All right. Let's get this started up. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible shit, brings it back here for a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, and we've got an interesting mishmash this week. We have the usual, of course. We, we've got Naked Crazy. Oh, yes. But we've got just some weird crazy this week. Um, going to start in Idaho. Idaho. All right, if two potatoes are walking down the street, how do you know which one is the prostitute? How? It's the one that has Idaho stamped on it. How did you not see that coming? Idaho Falls police investigate man in bunny suit. Yeah, this guy. This fucking guy. An Idaho Falls man has been told not to wear his bunny suit in public anymore after neighbors complained that he was frightening small children. The Idaho Falls Police Department received calls on Monday of a man in a black bunny suit that was being a public nuisance and scaring children in a neighborhood. Police responded to the 400 block of 3rd Street where they advised 34-year-old William Falkington, Falkingham, sorry, not to wear his bunny suit costume in public. According to reports, a resident told authorities that her son had been frightened by Falkingham, who was wearing a black bunny suit and hiding behind a tree. Neighbor also told police the 34-year-old male pointed his finger like a gun at her son. Creepy. I fully advocate the Jay and Silent Bob answer to this problem. Easter Bunny kicked his ass. He's fucking dead. Yeah. He's fucking dead. Yeah, fucking Easter Bunny. You know, your kink is okay until you inflict your kink on unsuspecting people. Like, you want to be a furry? You be a furry. You do whatever you got to do. You go to Anthrocon and you fuck a chick in a <laughs> chicken suit. I don't care. That's cool. I don't judge. But don't inflict it on unsuspecting people. Like, that's not cool. You gotta... No. But that, that poor kid. This is just like, he's walking down the street. There's a big guy in a bunny suit. He just... No, people, it was not a Playboy bunny suit. You know how you know it wasn't a Playboy bunny suit? Because a Playboy bunny suit isn't a suit. It's a tail and ears and lingerie. <laughs> There's no suit to that suit. It's no, just... that really isn't. But Jesus Christ. Dude, how can you... How in anyone's, he's, how in your brain is this a f- nice, th- is this a good idea? I. It's I, a kid. You are just, you are you know, bottling your own nightmare fuel at that point. It's kind of a sign of the times because when I was a kid, there was a burger place in my hometown and there was a guy there who was in a bunny suit all the time. Like that was their shtick. And the guy in the bunny suit put the ketchup on your burger for you and he did it in a smiley face. And it was fun, and it was cool, and everybody loved it. But that was, like, 1984, when there wasn't an internet. (laughs) Yeah, the internet's kind of ruined everything. The internet has really ruined a lot of things. But just, you know, when when the fucking bunny is, 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 you know, tonight, you, that's, that's a little too much. Leave the kids alone! Tonight we dine in Easter land. I'm sorry. That, yeah. <laughs> it was the Batman voice that you did that made me do that. I don't know why. Tonight, I don't know why. You. <laughs> oh, okay. This one we we've got our traditional naked and crazy. Uh, this comes from uh, Patascala from Newark. So I'm I'm assuming this is New Jersey. Um. Patascala police arrest naked man hitting car with tire iron. Police discovered a naked man striking his own vehicle with a tire iron early Tuesday morning in a side parking lot at uh, Lickington Heights High School. No, it's just Licking Licking Heights High School. Who the fuck named that school? (laughs) Licking. Where do you go to school? I go to Licking Heights. Yeah, you're not living that one down. Uh, an employee, an employee, it's unending, and it just stopped and reloaded on me. What the fuck? Sorry. Continue. Um, an employee at the school 
uh, report a man without clothes was hitting his Chevrolet Lumina. I love how they had to put exactly what make and model of the car. You know, last week they had to point out that the guy was a grocery bagger. Um, just after 6 a.m., when police arrived around 6.15 a.m., they discovered a, the 39-year-old man had smashed the Lumina's windows. They also discovered he has thrown his belongings, including clothes and various car parts. The man, who uh, police said was a uh, has a Dayton address, also vandalized the school. It appears he climbed a ladder and tore a camera off the side of the building. The man shows signs of, quote, excited delirium with people on the campus... People on the campus, even at such an early hour, the high school football team was having a two-a-day practice. And none of them stopped this guy? <laughs> I thought the whole fucking football team, and none of them thought to take this guy down? It's the football team. They were probably cheering him on. That's remember awesome. remember your high school football team? Come on. All right, you... I went to school in the hood, so let's not talk about my high school football team. Um, I, I just, he's, all right, he said he was going to his brother's house in Westerville, but he didn't quite make it there. That's his explanation for this. That's not an explanation for getting naked and fucking up your own car. No! That no. explains that in no way. That's an explanation. <laughs> That's an explanation for your car breaking down, not for you getting naked and breaking the car down. I am too hood bishop. I am fucking hardcore, yo. Don't mess with me. But I just I how what I, I my brain always tries to figure out what caused this progression of events. Seriously, how did we get I there? Want, I, I want to sit these people down. I want to get there when they get them to jail and just be like, just tell me how it started. It's just tell me at which point it seemed like a good idea. To get naked and do some crazy shit. To get naked and throw tennis balls at passing cars. To get naked and drive on the highway in a ridiculously unsafe fashion. To get naked and make yourself a snack in someone else's house. To get naked and beat the fuck out of your own car. Just tell me to get naked and climb down a ravine into a storm drain. <laughs> Just tell me how it began. It's, it's like Paul Harvey. I want to know... The rest of the story, you know? Because there's something missing here. Oh, and oh, this is this. Oh, good fucking Lord. Um, from Kent, uh, the Northwest. I'm not exactly sure which state this is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Kent man charged with girlfriend's murder digs up her tombstone. A Kent man charged with killing his teenage girlfriend is now accused of digging up her tombstone. Judge has issued a restraining order against 25-year-old James Ratke uh, after police say he replaced his girlfriend's tombstone with one that had his name on it. He also spelled out her name using Taco Bell wrappers. In July, police arrested Radke in connection with the shooting death of his girlfriend, 16-year-old Kelsey Cart. On the night of the shooting, uh, Cart's mother called 911 to report that her daughter was in Radke's house. Police arrived at the residence, three men living there. One of the Radke said that she wasn't there and didn't permit officers to enter. Later that night, uh, the men drove uh, Cart, suffering from a gunshot wound, to the hospital. She was dead on arrival. All well and good, but we're, we're, we're getting back to the point of uh, digging up her tombstone... And writing out her name in Taco Bell wrapper is like... He, and he replaced her tombstone with one with his own name on it. And yet he didn't kill himself. And the Taco Bell wrappers, what was it? Did, were they... Okay, all right, all right, all right. He, he spent the money to have a tombstone made. No, it was probably like fucking foam. Or one of those Halloween store ones. There was effort involved. Yeah. But along the way, he, he stops and thinks, oh man, wait, you know what? This is missing something. Bob, yeah. pull into the Taco Bell. I got an idea. How much fucking Taco Bell do you have to eat? That's a lot of goddamn burritos. Maybe that's what the tombstone was for. <laughs> Maybe he saw the end result of that Taco Bell stunting. Was being proactive. <laughs> To 
dig. All right, if you don't seem fucking guilty as hell before you start fucking with the grave, two plus two equals you're going to jail. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Did he get it's all the, the top bell rappers that really mess me up? I'm did he get them all at once, or did he save them up over a period of weeks? I'm kind of picturing. Have you ever seen the video for Janie's Got a Gun? Yeah, where she dumps out all the shit in her room on the floor and spells out I O U and all her shit. I'm kind of picturing that, except some fucking crazy dude with Taco Bell wrappers in a graveyard. And tombstones are not light; like those things aren't easy to just. No. Get rid of. You can't just be like, don't, don't, don't. No. He, he had... Lost it. Uh, what happened here? Buckets of crazy happened here. Oh, you're going to love this one. Uh, th this combines two things you, you have, you've been passionate about in the past. Um, oh, God. Macintosh. Okay. And, and um, um, promotion of the vagina. Um... Yeah, I, I love that expression on your face. I'm not clicking it. Whatever you send me, I am not clicking it. Teacher's MacBook, pres teacher's <laughs> MacBook presentation begins oh, with yeah. surprise vagina. Yeah. Last November, Michigan, Michigan computer teacher Paul Gust, 45, and that's him right there. That's, that's Paul Gust. Yeah. Uh she powered up his school-issued MacBook to show another staff member a presentation he was preparing for the school board. That's when, quote, a nude female pubic region with her legs spread apart appeared on the monitor. Oopsies! How did that get in there? Computer was seized and a nervous Gus begged to purchase it back from the school district superintendent. No go. He then asked them to wipe the hard drive clean. Not happening. Finally, he asked that it, quote, not be turned over to law enforcement. According At that to point, it. you should just send in the letter that says I'm guilty. Yeah, according to, uh, yeah. Please don't give this to the cops is basically the equivalent of, all right, I am a criminal. Oh, it gets better. Yeah, I know. Or worse. I'm trying to stall, dude. The company also recovered at least 70 images 18 of those were verified, were identified by an expert as being of underage children. Even a developmentally disabled hippo knows that that is not okay. And just think, he was felled by a vagina. You know, so many men are. Just one vagina brought the whole thing crashing down. Since Lady Macbeth. Since Eve, since, since Eve really. <laughs> we, we ladies carry a destructive fucking force between our legs. No pun intended. I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the Mac... I'm not a Sorry. fan... Of, I'm not a fan of the Macintosh, but that poor Macintosh. That poor MacBook. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, it's not like it's sentient. That you know of. I know they did that HAL commercial at the Super Bowl, but Macs are not actually sentient. That you're aware are you of. Are you? Can you hear me? That's why I'm very nice to my computer. I pet it and say nice things. That just... just you're a school teacher. That's a company-issued laptop. And that's the stupid part. That's the stupid part. Like, fine. Actually, not fine, but you're you're a fucking pervert and you're into underage. It happens. You suck, but it happens. You don't do that shit on the school district issued computer. That's just dumb. I I've had. And that's where I really get offended because you're educating the youth. You should be smart, and you're not. <clears throat> it's like Magneto. I thought you lived at a school. You're a fucking moron. <laughs> Magneto was very disappointed in you. <laughs> Now, I've yeah. had a work-issued laptop before. I didn't even put IRC on that goddamn thing. Because they can access it at any fucking time. Yeah. They can audit and that machine and you are fucked. They can ask for it back at any time. Exactly. It does not belong to you. You have no privacy. 
Oh, somebody said that guy looks like Nostalgia Critic. No, he doesn't. Let's put, put him on the big screen there. No, he doesn't. He doesn't really. <laughs> I think they're thrown off by the hat and the glasses. Personally. Yeah, I know. It's no, no, that that's that's not Doug. Don't don't. Don't go there. Um, oh, and and start. OK, this I. There's no real good segue for this. Police tree branch wielding man. Robbed 7-Eleven store. I think this really speaks to the times. This is really, really close to where I grew up. Central Ill Slip, New York. Th 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 oh my god, that is where I grew up. <laughs> the thing. This is actually my hometown. <laughs> I grew up Central Ill Slip. I told you people I grew up in the hood. This, this, is, this is a sign of the times. They can't afford guns. They can't even afford knives, so they're robbing people with sticks. Uh, it may not have been a weapon of choice, but rather one of convenience. Uh, Suffolk County pr police say a Ronconcoma. Ronconcoma? Ronconcoma. Okay. Central Islip, Ronconcoma. Ronconcoma. There's a, it, most of the town names on Long Island are of Native American. Okay. Okay. Uh, say he was arrested after trying to rob a 7-Eleven store using a large tree branch. <laughs> Michael Zerman, 31, is accused of walking to the store around 11.30 p.m. and demanding money for the clerk. After being denied, police say Zimmerman struck the clerk several times with the branch. <laughs> police say Zimmerman took off on his motorcycle, which was parked in the lot, after the clerk fought him off but didn't get very far. An off-duty off Nassau County police officer blocked the motorcycle after he saw Zimmerman being chased by the clerk and a small group of customers. The officer held Zimmerman until uh, county police arrived. Zimmerman charged with robbery in the first degree. I'm still boggling over the fact that this is my hometown. <laughs> a tree branch! I love, if you scroll down to the comments, the very first comment, I hope the clerk is promoted to branch manager. Oh, oh. I'm sure the clerk was stumped. Oh, oh. At least America still has a well-rooted sense of humor. Oh. But this is the rare website where the comments are actually awesome. <laughs> Just, I, but, uh, this, yeah. this guy, what? Back to my hometown CI. A tree branch. A, 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 a fucking tree branch and i'm here to tell you guns aren't hard to come by in ci how much how was this what was the plan what was the fucking plan it's not even a baseball bat it's a baseball bat in its zygote stage give me the fucking money no swoosh did he, did he pull the you leaves know, it's off? It's a gold it? object. It's a legitimate bludgeoning tool. It's an assault weapon. Yeah, but did he pull the leaves did off first? The, the tree branch? I wouldn't. But did it have all the leaves and the scratching bits still on it? You know what? It's CI, probably. Swoosh! Swoosh! swoosh. So. It's a little bit better. Not much. I love that he didn't even succeed. That the entire store fucking chased after his ass. <laughs> that goes to tell you. How well, that's the other thing about CI is it, it's it's the hood. So yeah, if he if all if they know all he's got in a tree branch, I bet you at least two of those customers were better armed than him. Well, that goes to show you how imposing a tree branch is. This is why I moved, people. This is why I moved. Oh, oh. I'm horrified right now. But my town, oh god. Well, let, let's go on to more. Let's 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 go. Yeah, on. let's let's get the fuck out of my hometown. It's traumatizing me. Washington D.C. boss attacks with medieval axe. Okay, at least at least we're using an actual weapon this time. A small business owner assaulted one of his employees with an axe. Police charged Andrew Francis Scalera, 44, with first and second degree assault in the attack. Authorities say he used a decorative medieval-style axe. The incident happened after midnight on Monday at Sclera's home in Frederick. Three employees were filling out work orders there at, for uh, Sclera's painting business. Victim told police Sclera accused him of stealing quarters. Qu 
quarters. Oh, well, all right then. He totally had it coming. And an argument ensued that escalated into violence. When the victim denied stealing the coins, he said Scalera became enraged and choked him. The man told police he hit Scalera to free himself from the grip, and Scalera then went back to his bedroom and returned with the axe and came after the man, threatening to kill him. The man told police he threatened to spray Scalera with pepper spray if he didn't back down, but Scalera struck him with the axe just as he was trying to spray him. He said Scalera then tried to hit him away, but as he moved out of the way, Scalera broke the glass on a door... He was subsequently arrested. Um, Hey, I've done my share of boffer larps. And I will tell you, not having ever tried to use pepper spray as a weapon, because it's not mm. seem appropriate. But I'm pretty confident that... Axe lightning bolt! Lightning pepper. bolt! Lightning bolt! Yeah, Axe, Axe, Trump's pepper spray. Um, and why the fuck wasn't this guy at Comic-Con? Why was there an AR-15 at Comic-Con, but a medieval... Acts beating the shit up people in a boardroom. Why is the world backwards? What's going through my mind here is this was happening in an apartment. Do you remember that fight scene from Raising Arizona? I never saw that movie. You never saw Raising Arizona? Oh my god. They have a fight in a trailer. And they try to tries to raise his hand up over his head and he scrapes his knuckles on the ceiling. They smash through the wall. I That's- did see the fight in the trailer in Kill Bill 2. That's what I'm, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm thinking of here. You can't have a fight with a fucking axe. It is. It makes me all the more worried for all the gamer dudes I knew who have, I know, who have impressive displays of weaponry all over their walls. <laughs> you can't have that kind I'm, of fight. I'm wondering what it's going to take for them to go all fucking mummy returns on your ass and start doing flips and pulling that shit off the walls. But you can't have that kind of fight in an apartment. It doesn't Offensive work. Heart- I, dude, I had a fairly decent-sized bedroom in my apartment. I couldn't swing a fucking axe in there. It's an axe! And you could swing an axe in here. I mean, I've got, like, probably ten-foot ceilings and decent... You could swing an axe in here, <laughs> if you're so inclined. I'm, I, I don't see it. I just don't. Because you get to... You, okay, got your arms. Your already arms are talking about three, three, four feet. Right, well, not three feet. Maybe two, two, three feet right there. Then you have the axe itself. That's another two feet. You're gonna hit something. That's usually the point. But not what you're intending to hit. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's text message. Message. Um. Okay, no, you are not all going to come and have an axe fight at my place. Hey, there's an idea. Are you inviting? No, no, I'm not. Party at Tara's, bring your axes. None of you are invited to come over my house. No, (laughs) there will not be punch and pie. Anybody who... There will be axes. Will get attacked by hippos. (laughs) There will be axes. My place is guarded by hippos. And I have batons next to my desk and I will fuck you up. So, are you ready to get into the sheerly awful tonight? Yes, and they're they're especially dirty tonight in the chat. I've already been asked to flash if I would wear a Playboy bunny outfit and if I will have an orgy at my house. Really? They they've just this is they they don't they've never seen boobs. I guess they still can. I'm shoulders up. Just masturbate, people. It's okay. A damn girl. Will girl touch my pee pee? Girl touch pee pee. A damn girl. <laughs> That's that. Fleshbot is right down the internet. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, this this is we're getting to the sheerly awful. Paralyzed man uses PVC pipe to drive ATV, crashes with children in vehicle. Oh my god! A thirty-year-old. What? That just kind of hit me like a grenade. 30-year-old paralyzed man has charged has charges pending against him after he was involved in a wreck that injured two young children. Shannon Majors of Panama City. It's Florida. That's my laundry. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to be having extra special like sound yeah, effects. Sound effects <laughs> everywhere. I know. I'm sorry. I thought the bell was going off for the most broken fucking story <laughs> ever. No, just my laundry, just my work clothes. Everybody scream! He said Florida! Ah, it's Pee Wee's Playhouse! Um, 
Shannon Majors, Panama City, was driving a uh, ATV along a clearing beneath a series of power lines. Majors is paralyzed, so he used a PVC pipe to operate the gas and brake pedals of the vehicle. At some point, according to Florida Highway Patrol press release, the vehicle overturned and rolled on the left side. Two young boys with the man, five-year-old Tristan Jones and two-year-old Micah, whose last name was not provided, went to search for help because the man was unable to right the vehicle or get himself out because of his handicap. Now, just in case you're wondering how these children wound up in this vehicle with this man, I want you to look at the way the name Tristan is spelled. T-R-Y-S-T-I-N. That's all you need to know. Um, boys found a nearby home were able to get help for majors. Boys sustained minor, minor injuries. Majors suffered serious injuries. Seat belts were not used by anyone in the vehicle. Do ATVs even have seat belts? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right, I was on a moped once when I was like nine, but I don't remember. I just, okay. All right. Number one. If you have to operate the pedals with anything other than your feet, you're doing it wrong. ATV, unless you have a specially designed, expensive right. you can ATV. Right, them so that right. you can work it with your hands. I, I used to know a guy who drove that way. If you have dumped money into this to make it safe and tested and, yes, PVC pipe, no. You cannot MacGyver this shit. Especially when you have two toddlers riding along with you. Ding, ding, ding. The PVC yeah. pipe is bad enough, but then uh, toddlers. Yeah, you have to... Where were the parents? I hate that I have to actually say that phrase. Look at the way they spelled Tristan. With a Y. Tristan. There is no parenting here. There is no parenting here. Oh, God, I thought hippie kids were bad. Jesus. I just, ugh. That's, uh, How do you even fit that many people on an ATV? They're not that big. Probably a not in a safe manner, which, hey, there's another one. Let's, let's just, I wonder if they were just seeing how many unsafe fucking things they could do in one go. Really? Maybe they were trying to get on, get in the next Jackass movie since that one guy passed away. This is Paralyzed ATV Flip. We are getting so much closer to Ow My Balls. I know. We are just hurtling towards Ow My Balls, society as a whole. We are, we are greased up and going down that spiral. Oh, oh and... This is this is our this is our piece de resistance tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Is this the one I just sent you? S no, no. But if you have one, you can send it to me. We'll. we'll, we'll I, I PM'd it to you let me, already let me look. before we went on. Let me look. I. Where did you PM it? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Well, we'll, we'll get. We'll do that one next. But right now, it ties into Al my balls. Everybody, get excited. We we have a sequel here. Um, think it couldn't happen again? Oh, yes, it could. Driver hides in portable toilet after oh, crunchy on. condo carport. You're not going to turn into Superman if you go in there. I don't care how fast you spin around. <laughs> That's Wonder Woman, honey. Whatever. <laughs> You're not going to turn into her either. <gasps> Neither are the yoga woman whose vaginas are peeping at. A man doused himself with a bucket of liquid human waste and hid in a portable toilet after plowing his Jeep into a, carvor a carport at a Longview Riverfront condominium Tuesday afternoon. The, the money quote, here we go, it looks like alcohol was involved. Show of hands, who's surprised? That's what I thought. <laughs> Purple Hippo lives in hope. Um, Longview resident Gordon Flavia, 56, was taken to St. John Medical Center for minor injuries. Flavia got into his Jeep at his condominium building, threw it into reverse, and floored it at a high rate of speed. 
He drove backwards into the carport uh, for the condominiums next door, where he knocked down a large support beam for the roof and punched his Jeep through a wall, coming to rest in a bathroom. No one was home, but neighbors heard the collision. A uh, collision. Uh, the Jeep and carport were totaled, so he fled on foot. Police found him hiding inside a portable toilet in a field north of waste control. He was soaking wet. We don't know exactly what it was, but it smelled bad. Flavia told officers he'd splashed, he'd splashed himself with the contents of a bucket outside the portable toilet because, quote, he thought dogs were coming. He was trying to throw off the scent. All right, look, I know nobody wants time for that. It's unpleasant, so I've heard. I've never been in jail. It's not fun. But you know what's less fun? What's less fun is the kind of fucking diseases you get from other people's ex- That's less fun. What's less fun is being a walking- embodiment of the stink palm from mall rats it's less fun the only thing missing was the Betty Hill thing <laughs> can you just imagine this and fast forward <laughs> you okay over there I'm fine okay. I'm fine okay you sure you hear me right <laughs> Well, just picture it in your head. Uh, yeah, you know what? Nothing. <laughs> I, I, nothing involving people rolling around in ecstasy, oh. music or no. There is no soundtrack that can make me enjoy that. Oh God! Oh, I'm holy shit! I just read this headline. The one I sent you. Holy shit, gentlemen! Brace yourselves! Gird your loins, boys! Arizona man accidentally shoots his penis off! Yes. Wow! I. Wow! It gets better! Oh god, it gets better! A Phoenix man accidentally <laughs> blew his dick off. I love Gawker for their just, they no nonsense writing. In a supermarket parking lot after he tucked his girlfriend's, quote, pink pistol in the waistband of his pants. He, Not only did he blow his dick off, he blew his dick off with his girlfriend's pink gun. He blew off? That's just so Freudian, I don't even know where to start. He shot off his pink pistol with a pink pistol. Aging Dr. Freud. I mean, come on. <laughs> According to the stone-faced police officer on the scene, the gun then accidentally discharged, sending a bullet directly through his penis and through his left leg. In a related manner, uh, matter, Arizona legislator has introduced a new bill that would make parking lot auto castration mandatory for all males over the age of 18. It's their God-given right. I love Gawker. God bless them. Cocker's my favorite. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, somewhat, Gonzo says, uh, this guy seriously needs to stop watching Zardoz. You know, you'd think we would have learned <laughs> from Plaxico Burris, though. A famous uh, fucking football player did this, and he shot himself in the leg and almost ended his career and did two years in jail. Don't put the gun there. Put the safety on. <laughs> But I never understood that. Like in movies, like the cops all shove the gun down the front of their pants. And I'm like, that's just asking to blow your dick off. Why would you put the gun there? Why would you point a gun there? And this is this this is exactly that's, why I think that's dumb. That's the one place you don't want a fucking gun. Right? Well, but not the one place. I don't want a fucking gun anywhere on my person personally. But if I had a choice, places, you don't want to get shot. If I had oh, it, you don't want to get shot and survive. I'm thinking that's at the top of the list. Tara, my dear, if you asked me head, gut, or penis, I would have to think about that shit. Yeah, but you're Southern, so. <laughs> You've been doing this a long time, and you're uh, clearly damaged. And... 
It's all fun and games till someone's dick gets shot off. With a pink pistol. That's just that's just the cherry on top of the emasculation <laughs> Sunday. That's that it's beautiful. It really is. It's it's poetry. Oh well It's I, proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. <laughs> Jesus wept, my God. Uh, well, I, I think that's... What are you doing? Hello. Odor. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't have a dick to flash, but... 